If a human being has a muscle, uh, has muscles, without it we cannot move. The so-called skeletal muscular system is responsible for voluntary and active body movement, like the movement of arms and legs, but also for the respiration. Here you can see how the muscle, how a muscle is contracted. But why is it contracting at all? What's happening inside the muscle? In every muscle cell, you find a large number of small modules that act in a myosin. When these so-called filaments all together come together, then the muscle is contracting. But why do they actually glide in each other? What is causing the muscle contraction? It's the calcium which is deposited at the filaments, thus triggering this movement of actin and myosin. If the muscle is relaxed, the calcium is in a bag in the muscle fiber, which we call reticulum. This is a typical muscle fiber here with the reticulum, the regularly ordered actin and myosin units and the cell cores. In those cell cores, the nuclei, you find the um, building plan of the muscle, the DNA. As we have learned, the skeletal muscular system is responsible for voluntary movement. So the brain has to give the order to contract the muscles, which is conducted through the nerves to the muscle. But how does this signal go to the calcium storage, the met uh, meticulum? For this, we've got the T tubuli. These T tubuli are very close to the reticulum, and for that reason, the signal can directly be transduced and uh, transmitted. The calcium then leaves the um, reticulum, causing the muscle contraction. But what happens in case of central nuclear myopathy? To see that, we have a closer look at the muscle fibers. Like in a house, every cell has got a kind of construction plan, which you can find as a DNA in the cell nuclei. Only with the right plan, the house can be built in the right way. However, if there's a mistake in the plan, you will find this whole this mistake also in the house. And this is what happens at in case of CNM. The DNA contains a mistake for the building plan of the muscle. So the muscles of CNM patients is disorganized. The T tubuli are not directed in the right way. The cell cores are centrally localized and the actin myelin uh, units are not uh, in a regular sequence and the muscle fibers are much smaller. But why this weakens the muscles of MTM1 patients, we don't know yet. This is actually part of ongoing research. Up to now, we know that in case of myotubular myopathy, the organization of the cell structure, the controlled triggering of the muscle contraction, the recycling within the cells, and also the cell division of certain muscle cells is impaired. These are all approaches for possible treatments, and researchers are doing their best to find them currently.